Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. No voice crack in today's intro, so we're good there. But let's talk about what could be coming today on Thursday in FIBA 21. Of course, foot birthday is on the out and out. People are wondering if we're going to get a new promo this Friday. And also, I think there's potential for a party bag SBC today. Since the previous party bag expires today at 6 p.m., I feel like there's a chance they might re-up it. So we'll talk about that. And of course, uh, I think there's going to be a nice market rise after rewards. Now, a lot of stuff on the market has actually ticked up a bit in price as I'm looking around right now, because it seems like people are saying, hey, I think Thursday flips. And I think rewards this week is going to push the market up with a lot of people, you know, not expecting a promo. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff actually kind of creep up right now. Some of the out-of-pack specials, some of those types of cards have, have honestly gone up a little bit. And I'm seeing some competition on cards on bids and on snipes because people are getting interested in some of that stuff. So I want to talk about again, I do think there's potential for a party bag today. And also I want to talk at where this market could be headed. Now, yesterday with some road to the finals, there were some good flipping opportunities. This, I bought these Draxlers at a 90K, sold them at 102, 103. So that was decent. I bought this at 390. So there were a couple of small flips there. And of course, you still have some movements and some fluctuations on these road to the finals. Davies went down post game to like 660 or 670, I think. Went back up to like 720 and is now at 680. I think Alaba as well has been chilling around 400,000 coins. Right now he's at 385. So of course, with these cards, after they do lose like the first leg, you do see a little bit of a drop off in their price, but sometimes they rebound back because, of course, I know Bayern have let in three away goals and they don't have Lewandowski, uh, but they had 31 shots on target. So probably people are going to start buying up these Alaba and the Davies potentially for the game next week because they think that since they had such a strong showing in game one, when they could possibly go into uh, game number two and have a strong showing as well. So I would expect to see some of those cards bounce back. Of course, the brand new team in the league today is uh, really garbage. It's not good at all. It's not even worth really looking at, to be honest, honest. except for Jay Lings and Ferlin, or not Ferlin, Benjamin Mendy. Um, and then of course, there's a lot to talk about with these foot birthday cards as well, because these cards dropped in price today, but some of them have rebounded from their lowest of lows from what they hit earlier today, because I think people uh, saw those low prices and said, hey, I'm going to buy this because it's just too cheap. So again, today we have the Party Bag SBC expiring. This first one, right? And the reason why I'm thinking we could get another Party Bag today is because last year in Foot Birthday, we had three. I think last year we had like a guaranteed Foot Birthday SBC as well, possibly. But we had a th we had three different like Party Bags or guaranteed player packs from the promos uh, last year during Foot Birthday. That's why I'm thinking that they could go back to back with these party bags and drop another one today. It would also be good filler content on a Thursday, of course. We have Europa League today, um, but foot birthday is kind of over, right? I don't expect any more foot birthday player SBCs. We had another objective yesterday for a CDM, uh, another Brazil versus CDM, which is cool, uh, but I'm really, it's, it's really just kind of speculation plays right now. I, I do think we'll see a decent market rise. Of course, the stuff that is in packs, um, is going to be dropping as well because there is going to be some supply today. But honestly, the, the big part of what happened on the market yesterday with the supply from UEFA marquee matchups and no icon SBCs coming out is the fodder market dropping. And I think if there is a party bag today, there's going to be potential to see some of this bounce back. Now, I've done a slight club stock of some 84s and some 85s. Um, and I mean, even some of these 86s, they're up a little bit from where they were, but they're still very, very low. A lot of people were selling fodder that they had invested today because there were no icon packs or icon upgrade packs that came out. So of course people sell. This is the second week in a row now. We've seen on Wednesdays a pretty solid sell-off on fodder pre-rewards because I honestly think people say or see that there's no SBC that's come out. They know that fodder usually drops with rewards and they sell stuff, which actually creates a pretty big drop off. So, uh, you know, 84 rate is down here in the 7K range is pretty, pretty low. 85s in the 15K range. These are dropping decently low as well. There still is an outside shot at some sort of icon SBC. If we don't have a promo on Friday, that could be some sort of content that EA drops. They've done it before in the past this year. So that could be something that we see on Friday as well. But if you do want to do a little bit of a club stock on some of the 84s and 85s, that's where, in my opinion, would be the best place to go right now. Some of this higher rated fodder, I mean, I've already got some of this stocked and, you know, I, I still got 88 rated cards at like 46, 47,000 coins. So these prices for me are low. 
Um, they're pretty low, but they're not the absolute lowest. I remember buying Casemiro like 56K, 57K. I think I have a Benzema that I got at 56K as well. And these 89 rates are still like 60,000 coins. So yes, this stuff is low, but it's really going to take, again, a big SBC to make it go boom and to make it go up. But these 84s are legit low and these cards move around the most as we've seen a lot of like if a party bag comes out you're going to see these guys shoot up you know so i think there's going to be a lot of people that look to buy these 84s today look for the ones with good links of course the ones with the center backs i bought like a Teles for 8k or an asper liquidator for like 8,000 coins as well that's really low i'm just saying this could be a quick flip um play today with some of the 84s if we do get another party bag sbc now some people have been saying there's a chance of a guaranteed foot birthday um pack to be released today as well and as of right now foot watch or no pack code uh, has been released about an SBC like that coming and that would not be an SBC that's just you know EA could release like this they would have to add a pack code for it and that would show up in the uh, code of this game and we would know about it so again if you're looking at any of these foot birthday players today 100% I would be looking at these guys in the first little bit of the rewards time frame because these guys have actually gone back up a little bit. Adama's 1.8, 1.28. He was down at 1.25 earlier. Uh, again, Atal was at 760, 750, which was just kind of too low for him. And this Aoar uh, was down at about 900,000 coins flat, which right now he's back up to like 920. It's actually a little bit of an undercut. He's about 930. So, I mean, you are seeing some of these cards lower than where they were. Uh, like Modric this morning was 380. And the man is down to 330 right now. It's kind of crazy with some of these drop-offs. Now, some of them are going to drop a little bit more with the reward supply. And then probably start going up after that as people buy them and put them in their teams and stuff like that. But um, you've already started to see some people buy these cards and cards around the rest of the market. Now, I mean, scrolling through some of these team of the weeks, I bought some uh, 80 or 92 rated Kimmich. Uh, that's actually my cheapest one right there at 437. I bought these yesterday for 380. I got a couple of them. These cards from this last team week are up so much. This Aubameyang yesterday was like 380. He's up to 410. So this team week was really rare and those cards are already starting to go up in price. And if you look across the game, you're starting to see some prices that are up, right? This Jota is up like 15,000 coins. That De Bruyne is still a little bit low. Uh, some of these what if cards that got upgraded today are down. Dalvin's 210, so that is kind of low. Diada's at 230. We're keeping an eye on that one. Um, but some of these cards have started to rebound, like that uh, Mertens was up a decent amount right there. Conte's at 1.2. That is up. Berchiche is up about 10,000 coins. Odegaard's up like 10, 15K. So as I'm looking through a lot of these special cards in these teams, People have started to buy these for a rise after rewards. This James is up a little bit right now. Actually, Ruben Diaz, 248. I'm pretty sure I saw him at 270 earlier today. So he really, really went up a lot today. I think people got the green light, especially with the links to the, the Mendy card, the Benjamin Mendy, I think is what's going on with this one. So if I could find this, uh, I might get involved here. But you're starting to see a lot of people invest for Thursday flips. Honestly, that's like when you see this Ruben... Diaz go up so much with a link to a new team of the week card that just tells me that people have confidence in this market and people have confidence in investing I'm going to snag that one at 248 because literally he was 270 at one point today now I don't know if it's going to be too over invested but of course this went down with a couple of center back SBCs that we got you know if I could snag a 290 for this maybe overnight we'd be in the money there so I'm going to buy that as a potential Thursday flip for the Ruben Diaz I mean look at how many pages supply he has to 280 one page one page. I'm going to leave that 251 sit there. So just in case, um, you know, people want to undercut that one, we can maybe get some more undercuts, at least for the time being. So that's kind of what I would be doing on the market right now. It's kind of what I'm looking for is maybe some undercuts pre rewards. And I do think you'll see a decent amount of a rise after rewards. But also since people have already started investing, that might hurt some of the rise. So just be careful on stuff. If you're buying something for a flip, um, that is already up. Like I'm kind of looking at this Zaha, of course, an absolute Thursday flipping beast who we flipped so many times on Thursdays this year, this 86 Zaha. If I can stack him for as close to 100K as possible, I am all in 
on that card at 117. You know, this guy will probably get some lazy sales on because he has uh, the other inform that gets in the way. But this is a five star skiller, Prem Striker. Uh, links to Gervinho, I guess, if you did that SBC, uh, and and he just has hype, right? So that's kind of where I feel like the market is heading, a pretty nice rise after rewards today. You also, since people have invested, you're also probably going to see a little bit of a drop off right before 6 p.m. because all the people that bought uh, some of these special cards to try to flip, maybe they're buying Laportes. This guy was down at like 320, of course, linking to the brand new Mendy, which he's actually still 320. 325. He was 340 at one point. Um, but you see cards like this that were invested in today uh, probably get sold off pre 6 p.m. because, of course, people will be kind of scared and fearful of what the content could be today on Thursday. Uh, that's one thing that I'll be watching out for too. But it's honestly not racking up to be super hyped on a Thursday, to be completely honest. That's why we're looking at some of this fodder because I think one thing EA could try to do to maybe keep us engaged one more day is throw out another one of those party bag packs. So again, some of those 84s and 85s, if you did want to get involved with that, that could be a place that you go and look for this. Now, I want to talk about some of the newly, newly upgraded cards like Diata uh, and some of the cards that did not get upgraded yesterday because there were some definite movements on these cards. Now, this Diata card right now, of course, got that plus two and he's looking ridiculous. Some people, I think, are even trying to sell a tall to go out and get this guy. He's been between 220 and 230 today. He actually got down in the 220s during the Champions League and has now gone back up to about 230. I think people are investing in this cards because they think he is going to spike tomorrow after rewards as people see this upgrade and want to try him out. I 100% um, understand where that thinking has come from, um, but this guy is up a decent amount already. I know to me, he's just kind of like a super sub though. I, I don't know if you would really use this card over a tall in my opinion, but again, he seems a bit underpriced still compared to that a tall card. So maybe the hype could carry this one up, uh, especially if you get some glowing reviews from other content creators in the community, people saying it's cracked in game, he could continue to rise up. Now that's one card that's been moving today. I'm really watching this Thalvin right now. I bought one tonight at 200,000 coins. He is actually down around 210. There's one at 214 right now. And this guy, it was really weird. He did not rise up at all right when the upgrade came out today. He was chilling right around like 220 to 230. And then for an hour, he mysteriously went up to like 270. He was actually selling there. And now he's back down to 220. So I actually got one of these at 200K flat, as I mentioned. And if I see another one of these at 210, I'm probably going to pull the trigger because I think with the French links, and this car just seems to be extra rare. For some reason, how many pages of supply do we have here on Thalvin's What If? Now, I know it's at nighttime, so this card's probably going to be a little more rare. And I feel like that's a glitched out market right there, to be honest with you. So let's try this and see if I get any more pages. But um, yeah, there's a few more pages. But still, this card seems to be very rare to me for some reason. I don't really understand why it is. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to snag a couple of these at 210 if possible, because this could be 230, 240 as your rewards. We'll see, right? We'll see with those French links. And with that league on hype, if that continues to go. Now, let's talk about a couple other cards, right? Goretzka, Ben Yedder did not get in Team of the Week. This Goretzka was like 600,000 coins almost this morning. And uh, he got sold off now down at 500 K going for lower than that on bid. So a really nice drop off on that card. If you wanted to get him at, you know, kind of like a, a flash sale discount right now, Ben Yedder as well has actually rebounded. He was down to 885 at almost his lowest today. People that were selling this card after he did not get in team of the week, but I totally understand why this has rebounded back because this is Ben Yedder that links to that Diata card that just got upgraded to the Renato Sanchez to the Payette, all the League One links that are going around right now. So I understand when this is up. I think this keeps going. I bought an Inform 87 Ben Yetter at 230 because I think that card could do well as a Thursday flip. So again, it just feels like to me right now that a lot of the hype on this market and a lot of what people are focusing on in FIFA at the moment is a nice little bit of a market rise heading into the weekend since there does not seem to be a promo. And since people probably have some coins from foot birthday, it doesn't seem to be like the past couple of days have been a huge SBC frenzy, uh, to be completely honest. So maybe this will be a chance for people to use their 
newly completed SBCs um, to in their teams for a full weekend. So that's something we're kind of expecting. Now I want to talk about the potential for a promo on Friday too. And I heard I heard some people talking about this earlier today that um, since we didn't have the weekend league plus extra player picks, they think that there is going to be a promo on Friday. Now, of course, it is a Thursday, the most popular day for EA to drop loading screens. And I guess there is potential that if some point, if EA did drop a loading screen, either at 6 p.m. content drop today or maybe at like 8 p.m. because they've done those delayed loading screens before, then we could see some panic. But of course, that's going to be an only an if scenario or if we see some pack code tweeted out, you know, from Footwatch or something like that. That's going to be what we're really waiting on to see, um, you know, some sort of promo hint, I guess you could say. But some people said that they think there's going to be a promo because we don't have those weekend league plus player picks, which to an extent I can kind of I can agree with because I'm it, it's obvious, right? The last few times that we haven't had a promo, there's been those weekend league plus player picks that have come out. But again, I just think that since we don't have those right now, it doesn't to me think to, to, to say that we're going to have a promo this Friday. I honestly think that it could be a no promo Friday. You know, maybe EA does run. Uh, I don't know if they'll run shapeshifters um, or if they'll run maybe team in the knockout stage in the next couple weeks, um, you know, before we have team of the season. But we're really going to probably start sliding towards that team of the season time frame sooner than we realize. So once we start hearing the rumors and we're going to start to hear a lot of speculation, people are going to say, hey, yo, when should I sell for team of the season? Um, there's going to be a lot of that coming very soon. There really is. There's going to be a lot of that stuff coming very soon. This Sancho is pretty low on bid right now. And if I had coins, I would love to get on it. But um, I don't think you have to be too worried about team of the season yet. I still feel like we're three to four weeks away. Three weeks at the earliest, four weeks to five weeks at the expected time for me for team of the season. So I do feel like stuff could drop off as we get nearer and nearer towards team of the season, of course, but I don't feel like we're just there quite yet. And I wonder if EA is going to try to run some sort of promo in between. That's my biggest question mark is EA Sports, are you going to try to run some sort of promo between now and between team of the season because i feel like they could squeeze one or two in there but also kind of like they did for foot birthday they really built the hype for foot birthday by not running any promos for two weeks right and that really made us crave a promo and i could see them doing that again with team of the season i really could i could see us going two maybe even three weeks without a promo if ea is going to really try to make us desire that promo and the promo packs and the new upgraded players so that's just something i'm thinking i got a cool body tonight at 285 uh and that card is looking like it's up around 300k so that's a gg um just to switch the the, the quick switch on the topic right there but that's just kind of how i'm feeling about right now again and also, if you think about it this way, if EA is not going to drop a promo and make us want those, that promo and just kind of be desiring. And, you know, when we don't have a promo for a while, people start speculating about the next promo. I mean, look what happened with full birthday, right? People were talking about it two weeks beforehand. We didn't have a promo for two entire weeks. And then the whole team was leaked because people were so, you know, into it about full birthday and EA obviously leaked the whole team. Um, but e people, I feel like went to extra efforts for full birthday because there was so much time ahead of time. There was so much more speculation, predictions, concepts. And if that happens for a team of the season, I feel like EA would drop coins suck and coin draining SBCs in the weeks beforehand. So that to me bodes well for, you know, more party bag SBCs, icon upgrade SBC, maybe even icon players, right? Maybe even more icon moments player SBCs. That's the biggest thing that I think people are really, you guys know, everybody's tweeting about they want icon upgrades. So you know, when we see that sort of stuff come out, people might be somewhat satisfied, at least for a little bit. Um, that could come today. That could come Friday. If we don't have any loading screen today, then I think we'd be probably looking at some sort of icon upgrade SBC on Friday as sort of like a, here's some content for a Friday, even though it's not a promo. So that's just kind of like all my thoughts dumped into one video right now, boys. I know right now it's not super duper exciting on FIFA. I appreciate all you guys that are watching the videos on the daily, even though we're in this foot birthday promo where a lot of people wanted to know 
you know, what's going to go on with these foot birthday cards, you know, when to buy, when to sell, all that good sort of stuff. So if you do want a little bit more information on that, I did make a video earlier today. But as of right now, the foot birthday cards are going to be big time 100% watches during rewards because they're going to get supplied, then potentially bounce back. And then hopefully we'll see a little bit of a market rise. If you want any moments icons, those will probably get supplied during rewards as well. Usually you see a few, few of those pop up and, you know, undercuts and then rising up nicely into the daytime. Uh, those icon moments. That's been a trend the past couple weeks with those I've noticed. Uh, so that is a GG as well. But that's the video for today, boys. If you have any questions, of course, drop it down below. Hit a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.